It's July 2024. I'm visiting the seashore in and around Port Orford, Oregon. It's a beautiful shoreline with sandy beaches, often including large, impressive volcanic rocks, as well as tall headlands with steep cliffs. The volcanic rocks in this area contribute to its natural beauty, but they've also made the area quite dangerous to ships. Because of this danger, a Coast Guard rescue station was built at Port Orford in 1934 and functioned there until 1970. A good place to start a visit to the Port Orford shoreline is at the Battle Rock Wayside, which has parking just off of Highway 101. From the parking lot, there's a nice view of the beach to the south and in the distance, Humbug Mountain. At the north end of the beach, Battle Rock projects out into the ocean. The trail from the parking lot leads to the sandy beach. I went walking, headed south towards Humbug Mountain. From 1934 to 1970, a Coast Guard station at Port Orford watched for distress signals from ships at sea ready to launch a rescue mission. The Coast Guard station became the Port Orford Heads Oregon State Park with a museum and trails to several observation points. The museum includes one of the original motorized lifeboats that served at the station. One of the trails leads to a site where a 37-foot tower was used to look for ships in distress at sea. The tower was dismantled when the Coast Guard station was decommissioned, but the site remains an excellent observation point. This is the observation site and the location of the former 37-foot lookout tower. From here there's a really good view to the south off towards Humbug Mountain. Looking more to the west, you can see the steep drop-off from the Port Orford headlands into the ocean. I continued walking on a trail that heads northwest out to another observation point further out on the headland. view of offshore rocks from the northwest observation point. For 
After my visit to Port Orford, I camped at the Humbug Mountain Oregon State Park. The park is about six miles south of Port Orford on Highway 101. That's Humbug Mountain on the right. Just a little further down the road on the left is the entrance to Humbug Mountain State Park. The entrance road to the campground crosses Brush Creek and then turns west and travels parallel to the creek and to Highway 101. Because the campground is relatively close to Highway 101, you can hear traffic noise from the highway in the campground. There are little less than a hundred campsites in the park, and the park has both tent campsites and RV campsites with electrical hookups. Behind my campsite was a large myrtle tree. Myrtle trees grow along the coast in Oregon and California. The wood of the tree is fine-grained and relatively dense and can be used to make many attractive items. At the west end of the campground, there's a trail that goes to the beach. The trail travels along besides Brush Creek and goes under the Highway 101 bridge that spans the creek. Along the stream, I saw a flowering plant that looked very much like Crocosmia. I saw similar Crocosmia-like plants in Port Orford. Crocosmia is a non-native plant that originated in Africa. From a bit of reading, it seemed that there's a variety of Crocosmia that's quite invasive. It can exclude native plants has become quite well established on the west coast.
The trail leads to a lovely sandy beach. The Oregon coast can often be quite windy. The Humbug campground itself lies in a valley and is somewhat protected from winds. But during my visit I found there were strong northerly winds every day at the beach. Much of the time there was wind-blown sand, and most of the time I couldn't fly my drone. Fortunately there was one morning with lighter winds that I was able to fly the drone and get other video of this beautiful beach. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.